Hello everyone. Uh, Dimple here welcoming you all to today's session on Android Framework Components. Uh, today we will be seeing what are the uh, ways to collect uh, Bluetooth HCI Snoop blocks from an Android device. So many a times you may face Bluetooth issues uh, where when you connect from one device to another device, you may feel that the data is not transferred properly or you want to know more about what's exactly happening in the background or you want to solve a Bluetooth error, Bluetooth issue for that matter. Bluetooth the locks usually won't be part of your uh, normal locks which you collect, the main locks, system locks, event locks. So there is a separate part called HCI Snoop. Okay, so using this HCI Snoop, we have to collect all the Bluetooth locks basically. Uh, so uh, in the, my previous session, I have actually explained, I mean, in my previous videos, I have actually explained what are the different ways to collect the logs, right? Uh, similarly, uh, today specifically with respect to Bluetooth, we will see what are the different ways to collect the logs. So let's get started. Before collecting the locks, we have to make certain changes in our device, right? Uh, that we'll see what we will do. Initially, we have to uh, enable the developer options on the device. So we have to go to our uh, Android build, tap seven times. When we tap seven times, the developer options will be enabled. We have to enable that particular developer options. After enabling developer options, I'm going to my developer options. And in that developer options, you all can see one option, right? Enable Bluetooth HCI Snoop Logs. We have to go there. By default, this enable Bluetooth HCI Snoop Logs under developer option will be disabled. So we have to enable. Here we can see multiple options. Enable filtered, enable, enable headers filtered, enabled marks packet filters, whichever is of our interest based on our issue, based on our situation, based on what we will go to analyze, you can select here, just I will select enabled. Once I go to enabled, I can turn on my Bluetooth. So I hope you all understood what uh, we have to do. First, we have to go to uh, our uh, Android build number, tap on build number seven times to enable the developer options. In that developer options, HCI Bluetooth locks specifically we have to enable. After that, we'll turn on Bluetooth. So once Bluetooth is turned on, I can do anything now. Uh, I mean, I can uh, connect to other devices or I can transfer few images, videos, anything. So the exact issue you want to check that issue, you can can reproduce in this particular time frame. Once that is done, I've connected my device to the uh, command prompt. So here we'll do ADB devices to check if my device is connected. In my command prompt, we have to collect the bug reports. So ADB bug report given by the bug report dot zip name. Okay, any name you can give here. And uh, it should be in the form of dot zip. If you don't give dot zip, it will automatically generate in the dot zip. So here the way which I'm showing is through using the bug reports. In the bug report, there will be a specified folder, especially for the Bluetooth logs. The command we have to use is adb bug report bt logs. So the bug report is generated now. 100% it's done. Now uh, let's go and view the contents of this bug report. So your btlogs.zip bug report file is generated. I have extracted that zip file. And if we go here, uh, we can see the file system, right? Different options we can see. We, we have to go inside this FS folder. Once we go into this FS folder, we can see three options, cache, data, proc. We have to go inside data folder, and then we have to go inside the misc folder here. 
okay we can see your bluetooth and recovery two folders recovery contains all the details regarding the uh, os update whenever there is error with whenever you are upgrading or downgrading the device whenever there is error such errors will be basically uh, stored in that recovery partition and i'll click on bluetooth and inside bluetooth i can see again another folder called logs if i go inside logs here i can see uh, bluetooth dot uh, bluetooth underscore sci dot log as well as log log last so these two are the things we are interested in and we have to oh, these things will not be uh, viewed uh, by your notepad usually it will be in the binary format okay uh, so i'll show you how it looks in the binary format so if i just open with notepad it will be in this non readable format like this all in the binary format so there is a specific tool called wireshark which which will actually help us to uh, basically view the logs in a readable format so wireshark you all install you, this uh, exe will be available online wireshark so once you install wireshark you can start seeing the bluetooth snoop logs so there is times there is source destination protocol length all these things and you all can see what are the commands when is the signal sent when is the write sent read received all these details we will come to know one by one if we go line by line when are the packet sent which packet was failed which data was not sent at what time frame and what is the destination what is the source all these details we will basically come to know so received complete command i mean uh, line by line if you go through right you will come to know how the read receive send data all this is working in the bluetooth basically so let me scroll down you all can uh, see all these details how many bytes of received what data is received how much of data is received all such details we will basically come to know and also there are different options we can try out for example if we go to analyze and if we show as a, a display filters there are different options right expert information whatever we want will come to know what are the warnings errors related to this data transfer and also we can go to different options enabled products which protocols are enabled for example 802.11.radio all the different protocols which are being used in this uh, device in this particular device where we have replicated the issue those details also we can basically come to know then i'll go to statistics we can view in the form of a graph how the packets are sent and received at what time frame the packets were more and at what time frame the packets were less so if we use all this graph we'll basically come to know uh, what exactly the issue is there in our uh, device flow graph also we can uh, come to know host controller how the data is received see uh, it's very clearly explained send receive read and at every time frame how much data is being sent received all these details will come to know if you are uh, looking to solve any issue regarding the bluetooth especially these details will be very very useful it's completely totally into networking domain the different options you all can explore actually you'll come to know what exactly are the packet lengths they are count minimum value maximum value burst start the different options are there so wireshark is a very good tool which basically to analyze uh, the networking logs regarding uh, bluetooth or wifi then if we we can see bluetooth devices which devices are connected which devices are not connected bluetooth address also we can actually get from your hci summary also we can get from your
and the view you can select which uh, ta which tabs or which columns you want to be displayed which columns you don't want to be displayed that also you can basically select here in the view and uh, what is the previous packet next packet first packet last packet those details also you can basically uh, get from this options so this was the overall ui i wanted to show you all about the uh, wireshark tool how to extract that yeah uh, that's all i had for today in this uh, small session i just wanted to show you all uh, how to collect the bluetooth snoop logs basically whenever you are debugging a bluetooth issue uh, and how to collect the bug report inside the bug report in which folder to look for the bluetooth logs and how to open that logs that logs will basically not be opened with normal notepad editors we have to install this tool called wireshark which is uh, available online and using this tool uh, we can analyze the bluetooth snoop logs so that we can solve our issue i hope this gave you all a gist of idea like how a uh, bluetooth logs are collected separately which are not uh, related to normal uh, log collection uh, thanks everyone for watching i'll see you all soon in my next session until then everyone take care bye